Boccone Dolce. Is this how we pronounce it? Am I butchering the name? There's a good chance that I am. I apologize to our wonderful Italian friends who crafted this scrumptious cake. If any Italian friends are watching, please enlighten me on the correct pronunciation. Now let's delve into this process of creating this fantastic cake. I begin by aerating three egg whites with a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. This process gives it a light and airy texture. Once they reach a fluffy consistency, I add one teaspoon of cocoa and half a cup of sweetener. I then mix these ingredients at low speed until they are perfectly blended. Now the original version is not a cocoa version, so you can leave out the cocoa here if you prefer. When the mixture is thoroughly combined, I transfer it into three pre-oiled 4-inch trays. I ensure to smooth out the mixture evenly and then bake it at 275 Fahrenheit for a solid hour. Once the baking process is complete, I turn off the oven but let the trays remain inside for an additional 20 minutes. This helps the cake to set perfectly. Yay! <laughs> After that, I remove them and allow them to cool down further at room temperature. This helps the cake to maintain their structure and prevent them from falling apart. In the meantime, while the bases are cooling, I prepare the creamy mixture. In my mixing bowl, I combine quarter cup of sweetener with quarter cup of yogurt, and to this, I add one teaspoon of cocoa. I mix everything thoroughly until they're very well incorporated. The final step is assembling the cake. I begin with the pavlova base, spread a generous amount of the creamy mixture on top, and repeat the process twice, creating layers of deliciousness. And there you have it, a seriously delicious and relatively easy to make Boccone Dolce cake that will delight your taste buds. Ugh, I hope I'm not butchering it. I really hope you give this recipe a try and if you do, please let me know how you like it. Happy baking.